TV down at uh, Middleton Arena with Matty Moon Wearing. Moon that's it. Oh God. <laughs> and Matthew Howe. How are you doing, lads? Yeah, good. Yeah, well, we were uh, just talking before, second win now. Uh, quite impressive, really, because uh, it was a tough kid there who came to fight, but uh, I thought you might have got cut again there. I mean, you got a little bit of a bruise under your eye. <laughs> Yeah, because of my height, you know, being 6'2 in the middleweight, there's not many about, so I find that people are coming under me. Um, so, you know, obviously I got cut in my last fight with a head class, I had some 11 stitches and slight cut tonight from the head class in the last round, so what it comes to the territory, I suppose. Yeah, no, I mean, like you say, um, uh, what was it, 40, 37, was it? Yeah, the referee gave him a share of the round, <laughs> I would imagine that's probably the first round, to be honest. Yes. Um, but I thought Matt boxed well, but... <coughs> I know what this man's capable of, you see, um, and it's just been frustrating, like I say, Matt's had a lot of injuries of late, and don't forget, no amateur experience, no white collar, no unlicensed, nothing like that, <coughs> straight out of football, and he's beat tonight a kid who I know well, who has had a lot, a lot of amateur fights, and he's gone in there and beat him, <coughs> but all we need now is, is to keep busy, keep fighting, hopefully stay injury free, and I know this man, if we can get a bit of momentum going, him injury free you've, you've not seen that <coughs> scratch the surface at all because you are extremely passionate about this sport aren't you mate yeah, of course i'm yeah i love it it's a lovely life uh, like i said before i've played football since being a baby but it just got too much this itch this urge got too much i, I find myself coming home from training and just thinking and watching boxing and just, i just love it you know and even after matt first took me sparring i took a couple, took a couple of lines you know um, I wanted to know what more, you know, I wanted to get better. Listen, everyone don't realise how tough it is to go in there, no matter how fit you are, mentally, it's very, very draining in there, going in there with only one fight behind you and nothing else, because you're doubting yourself all the time, it's, it's an unbelievably tough sport, that's why people have 60, 70 amateur fights before they get in the ring, so I take my hat off to you every time, mate, I, I really, you know, <laughs> it's not an easy sport, mate, and to step in it, from, from coming from football is, is phenomenal mate and I'm seeing an improvement every time and I thought you finished the fight really well those last two rounds you stood up a bit taller you stood off him a little bit and then you whipped those uppercuts in so you should be impressed with yourself thank you thank you absolutely it's definitely more for because I, I didn't feel like a box all I, I know I can do inspiring and stuff don't I yeah it's definitely not I feel because I took it at three three and a half weeks notice I don't even feel fit I feel like I, I, I'm twice as fit as I'm going to get going when I'm re repetitive sparring and stuff. And Matt's come out of football, so I watch you know, fighters, some fighters get very nervous. Matt's cool as a cucumber before the fight, but Matt is one of the fittest guys I know. He's phenomenally fit, he <coughs> doesn't drink, does everything right, his diet is right, I see him working out in the gym. He's as fit as they come, but... But he's fit fitness, and he's been boxing exactly. fit. Exactly, took the words out of my mouth lately. Once <coughs> we get more rounds under his belt, this man's fitness will be phenomenal, trust me. It's when they get that confidence, that confidence in you. Oh, I'm a fat man, right? And I can do six, seven rounds with a guy who, who's much fit to me, in great shape, but they've never boxed before. <coughs> and when they've never boxed before, yeah. they get tired. Yeah. And it's hard, and you're doing it in front of a massive crowd. Yeah. So, listen, mate, do not knock yourself. This is a, a fine oh, performance. Like fine it. performance. And if Matty <coughs> thinks you're doing well, take it and let's go and let's see how far you can go down this road, mate. <coughs> All right, lads, listen, great. And just give us a quick word about uh, young uh, Adam, because I believe he fought last week, didn't he, mate? Yeah, Adam boxed again last week. Um, that was his eighth fight, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's going away with his friends in a couple of weeks' time. So we're uh, getting back from there. I'd love to get him a fight in September, but I'm really excited about Adam. He's coming on all the time. He's got, got a real fan-friendly style to watch. Um, yep. So, yeah, the future's bright. Lads, absolutely cracking. Take care, see and I'll see you soon. Nice Bye.